All right, this is the last episode where it's episodic, meaning episode four onwards. It's going to be super hype, but apparently it's going to get super dark. I hope it actually does get super dark. Maybe I'm asking for something I shouldn't be asking for, but it'd be interesting to see how this episodic kind of chill slice of life anime that seems to be turns into a twist. Let's begin. Morlock, what are you doing? No, this... Oh. All right, let him cook. I think he wants to get with her, though. <laughs> Bro, what are you in the flowers for? Oh, she's here, too. She probably wants to know how compatible she is with Saito, huh? Temptation of the succubus. Oh, this is a succubus, all right. Oh, god damn, that's a lot of suck. Hmm. <laughs> are we going to fight it? Morlock, you, you, can you do this? Saito is bewitched by the succubus. Hey, snap out of it, bro. I feel like she's gonna smack him. Oh my god, bro. Come on. I mean, I don't blame him. I would probably also be charmed. And yeah, we, we could have blamed the low magic resistance. Wow, they're really not covering her, her crotch area with anything. <laughs> Get away from that thought, Saito! I think she's gonna hit Saito. Bonk! What would it do if it took us? Would it probably kill us? I don't know. Oh my god. Well, we know how much she's into Saito, right? Nobody can touch him. Oh, he was alright, alright. <laughs> Wait. He's charmed with her now. It was the effect on the succubus, but it's been transferred to Ryleza. Meaning, Ryleza might get some action in Saito's... Oh. The unexpected Riz. I mean, she wouldn't decline, would she? Because she's super into him, right? Do something. Make a move, bro. Please do something. Nobody stop them. Please, I swear to God, if somebody stops this. Not here. As in somewhere else? Yeah? Oh, dude. You should have waited at least a kiss or something. Then again, it's kind of bordering on like sexual harassment. But determining their contact with those two, I think they're fine. Hey, Morlock, bro. Well, she doesn't care about that. No, let him have his fun. So he's intentionally going in there. He, he's not charmed by magic. He's charmed with his dick, bro. <laughs> oh. let, let the horny old man have his fun. Leave. Lots of magic power comes <laughs> Suck what up? Bro, stop it! Take what off? The armor? Yeah, because it's dangerous, right? Surely we're doing this out of her safety. But not around Saito. Handyman Ryleza. Yeah, she does look great. No one's making fun of you. Bro, what about you holding the armor? <laughs> His amnesia, right? His uh, little bit of dementia. It's over already. Okay, next skit. Our wizard. Like. <laughs> so. This is a magician. That probably just has ridiculous physical strength. Because look at this shape of this thing. No magic involved. He's just going to bonk it. Did you see how fast that was? Do it again, old man. I don't got time for incantations. Let me just... This is such an interesting take. It's just like the the dwarf magician in the first episode, right? Where you would expect the dwarf to not be a magician, but then it's actually a magician tank kind of type. Okay, what is he gonna do? Um, knock the trees out, or just do that. Use the pokey end. Okay, dude, are these characters gonna show up, like re-show up in the future episodes, or are these like one-time things? Cause It'd be unfortunate if we don't see them again. They're all pretty interesting. Shadow Catcher. Interesting ability. But that only works out in the daylight, I guess. What happens if it's no shadow? Or what if you meet somebody that can hold their own in melee range? What if this is a witch that lived 400 years? Look at her back, dude. Huh? Quicksand. I think this is a witch that lived 400 years. It's like, why'd you have to say? You jinxed it, bro. Hello? Oh? The demon realm? Excuse me? Huh? 
Like, all these characters are so interesting to me. I hope they continue to show them in the future episodes. Oh, he's back. Oh, he made it back from the demon realm with friends. <laughs> hey, he powered up. It's her again. Hello. But it's a witch for 400 years. She's obviously not going to give a shit. Okay. But... What else does she have? I doubt it. Come on. I'm not falling for it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, that's unexpected? He was going for a kiss the entire time? Bro, this dude went to the demon realm, brought his demon underlings with him just to get a kiss? What are these plot lines? What is it? What is it? This is a mushroom. Looks like a dick, bro. It just looks like a dick that's kind of just covered in shadow. Morlock, is this your dick? What are you doing? A cocky man root. You remember the first episode where the king's dick was so big and glory, like magnificent? The unit of measurement, one unit, is based on his dick. Stop, stop, stucking on the dick, bro. Ew. It's not what, you, what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Bro, the dick chokes on this show. <laughs> Keep going hard. Donbain. The man who hears the voice of steel. <laughs> it's an epic title for a blacksmith. Oh, we can pick that. No, the handyman can do it. Oh my god, what a tsundere, man. He ran away, locked himself up like that. Um, I think he'll just open it because <laughs> it's the handyman Saito, right? How did you find me? The man who can hear the locks versus the man who can hear the voice of steel. What an odd question. Yeah, we know you're a woman. <laughs> She's trying to really state it. Hello, I'm a woman that's interested. I'm single, by the way. Hey, Saito, are you interested? I'm a woman, by the way. A gun. Can we make a gun? Why not? Probably? Oh, he wants to create a gun, but then that opens a Pandora's box. True. Ah. Uh, I mean, there's like magic and shit in this world, man. Like a gun. It'd be too accessible to everybody, right? That's the whole point. And then Truck-kun. Bang. And then we got Isekai. Gotcha. Thank you, Mr. Truck Driver. Well, you have new people that needs you now. But that is kind of sad. Wait, he dropped in her bed? This is how he got reincarnated? Right into Riles' bed? But she, this is a bad first impression. Why is she so into Saito? How did he recover from this? Yeah, look at this. Huh? Morlock, did you summon him? Oh. True. Uh, yes, please save us. Wait, she's always listening outside, man. Raz is always listening outside. She's so worried. What if that girl is taking Saito from me? Government manage. What is the government here? The kingdom, right? We have an old geezer. Please give us a senior's discount. Bro, these chests never have anything. Like, have we ever encountered a chest where it wasn't a trap or a bait? Oh, I hear something. Sounds like a gear. Yeah, sounds like some kind of mechanic. Is it a Roomba? What is this thing? Oh? It's like a little mech. It's a Roomba thing, isn't it? This is an actual Roomba. You know, the automatic cleaner that just like rolls around in your apartment and cleans. What the fuck is it doing here? Did someone bring it with them from the human world they created? Meaning there's somebody other than Saito from Earth that's here? Hidden entrance, push it. Oh. That means we can go through it, right? Do you know your... <laughs> he doesn't know his incantations. 
<laughs> That's actually still funny. So then, an entrance. Huh? For the first time, the great labyrinth expanded. Oh, it's just to find a Roomba. It's, what's going on? Saito's tunnel. That's pretty cool. Okay. Wait, what? Can you spread that fast? Wait, is Saito's tunnel incredibly profitable? What's going on? That's a lot of money. Wait, they all heard of it and they're like, oh, we must get to Roomba? I guess because, like, it's such a big news that it, uh... Wait, that's the Dwarf Magician, right? Oh, okay, good, good, good. All the characters, yo, the Yuri couple, even him, bro. All these characters have come together. This is perfect. I was really hoping that they don't waste those characters. Holy shit. Three episodes of setup for this. Holy shit. What a way to invest three episodes of the series to build everything up. All these side characters through like little four comas kids. Only to have a Roomba that expands the labyrinth for the first time ever. Everybody has gathered and things are about to get pretty interesting. You said it's going to get pretty dark. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I can handle my own dark taste, but maybe it's going to actually make me cry. Apparently, it made people cry. I, I'm a pretty tough guy, so we'll see. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.